red corner with his head trainer, Christian Loyola. On the scales officially at the weigh-in yesterday at 175.7 pounds. His fight record includes 18 victories, 17 going by way of KO, including 15 of those 17 going inside three rounds. He has one defeat on his record. Introducing Brian Suarez. And across the ring, in the blue corner, standing with his head trainer, Pat Barrett. Scaling officially at yesterday's weigh-in at 174.5 pounds. Tonight, he's wearing the white and blue shorts. 22 career victories, 15 going inside the scheduled distance with one defeat on his record. Introducing Lyndon King Asa! Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times, all right? Just close. Well, 42 fights have been over early. Suarez. No, it's imperative here for Suarez, who, who obviously has sort of silences the crowd as quick as he can. For him, who was going to come forward, the opposite really of Boris. Suarez is already trying to press off that front foot, sharp his jab, but sometimes he starts his fights a little bit slow. But his jab here in the first round, he's doing well. On right hand there. Low left hand, you, you, you give a, a direct target for that right hand. They see him here on Channel 5. As long as it's momentum, you can take the step back there. Uh, Still a little, a little stiff here in this first round. Quite land, but force behind it. Carries that sense that they've both got power. Anything. After the feel that when that jab was straightening him, forcing him to make mistakes and landing with shots like that, I looked with the hands. Look too readable with his work. So there's Pat Barrett in the corner with Lyndon up. Round two then, Sargentine Brian Suarez. <laughs> he said it last time. <laughs> big booming. A little more frequent. Body shot though from Arthur. Inch in range. Suarez looking to close the distance a little bit. Suarez just got to follow that jab in there from Arthur, and especially when he does that. They felt their man could certainly come here and cause a stune against the dangerous puncher, the Venezuelan, Albert Ramirez, and twice in round one. The dig to the body there. Because he didn't dip his legs, the, the shot was too readable. Yeah, good jab. It's a lovely double uh, rhythm to his double jab, doesn't he, Arthur, as well? On it most of the time it's a really effective shot starting to jab to the body as well to try and bring those hands down to maybe set up a good combination at the, just swallow a right hand there from suarez check left hook and then a sharp left hook that followed he's landing with this but they're slow they're not quite as fast from uh the district of buenos seconds. aires which they call Ullingham. all of that uh, doors it could open up even though Suarez can't win the title there's so many conversations in it and possibly another another trip over back over absolutely this tonight is the put on a good performance to sell himself to the wider public they start to weigh on you more heavily the longer the no I'm just looking at Suarez's record after he's controlling the fire at the moment expression I always use is just keeping Suarez honest you know he's on the other hand he's using his jab but it's not landing to the same effect it's harder to build momentum build into the combinations there from Suarez what it will do and what it does quite often for that but it frustrates the opponent in the opinion that there's some heavier shots of that as George Suarez is starting to open up sometimes it's hard to get something out off of the jab. He's just got caught with a, he got caught with a body shot, didn't he? Just a few little combinations before that as well. Then a threat here, Barry. Yeah, but I just think the reason why, because Arthur's never going to force the pace. You, you have to force it out. Yep. Just get himself going, try and IBO title at stake for him here tonight. Jab. That, no, he's swinging the shots in, but he just lacks that little bit of pace for 
I tell you what I would like to do, I'd like to see is Arthur and to be much more con con concussive. Uh, to close that distance and Arthur. Still landing some of them though. Looks for the uppercut there as he got in close. With that upper body moving a little bit more there, Suarez. But Arthur. It's good there from Arthur. Just a little... and Michael Alexander wants a word here. Still... Suarez is pleading his case. Good work again. Oh, and Arthur takes a knee. One. Sharp shot from and Suarez. Boxing is so within himself, like he does so often. He has that reset at the fourth to fight out of him. But he's coasting, he's having, and he's, he's controlling. That was an easy round for him until that point. But just saying, you're giving a guy two Seconds opportunities. Out. Round five. And, and the judgment for Suarez at the end of that fourth round. Now he got the fire in his eyes, suddenly Brian Suarez again. And sometimes even if they're not hurt. And here comes Suarez again. Suarez not, not at all Arthur any more confidence, get his confidence out. He doesn't even have a lot of flow a lot of times, sometimes he goes... But when you have been buzzed, when you've been down... Edge to rediscover his rhythm here, but swap once more. In the play here, Arthur. Right hand again there from Suarez. He's still got plenty about him. You don't want to try and empty the tank at this point. But he's still keeping the pressure on, isn't he? He's applying that pressure. On. Looking for from Lyndon Arthur. He gives him a whip, a more power in the punch. Arthur's in trouble again. Suarez trying to unload here. The end of the round can't come soon enough for Lyndon. On shaky legs. Yeah, I mean, that might even be worse. You know, you stay on your feet and you end up taking two, three, four more punches than if you'd taken a knee. It's a crowd. The first right hand was almost like a mirror to the, knock, the first knockdown in the previous round. But the second right hand was a worse shot to me because Arthur was a free tag. Arthur might not have seen the end of it. That was a worse round. Corners, 10 the seconds. End, but all that round. Well, we wondered if Suarez, but he's not fading here at the moment, no question. And it's funny because when then the engine can tank because you're mentally starting to feel Arthur's got to do something to take his confidence away. Lovely jab. Yeah, but the instruction should have been. Right now, time is Lyndon Arthur's friend here. Step back, you, you're feeding on the right position to do so. Left hook, we just saw a left uppercut, right uppercut, both. It turns, doesn't he, Arthur, when he throws it? But Suarez is finding a way through with... It's close to the body there. Suarez targeting the body. Yeah. Patience in the work of Suarez. Just to rounds four and five, not so six. Well, let's take a look back at some of the action. Round from the first rounds where he thought Lyndon was controlling it with a jab and he's going to walk onto that right hand. Seven. Totally swung the momentum. I've actually got... Yeah, he took the words out of my mouth, George. How have you both got... Arthur quite relatively comfortable, I thought, and then the, the last two points up here at the minute. Lyndon Arthur is trying to make it happen here, but... But this is not a high... Arthur's... It's kind of what he wanted, death time. That was good there from Varone. Big bang to the body. And then Suarez comes straight back with a couple of hooks to the body and backs Linda. Fight on an absolute knife edge at the moment. This continues to try and bang to Lyndon Arthur's body and throw uppercuts as well here. They talk to Suarez. Ooh. Hooks to the body from Suarez, and again there, and he felt it out, and he's having a little bit of success to do it, but... Oh, it's, it's going to be difficult for him, but he has the attributes on that jab, and it changes the whole landscape for him. Works really well at that kind of range so far. They get climbing up off the floor, and certainly looking really relaxed, so you might have noticed... So 
certainly having an effect on Arthur. It's risky stuff for Arthur to be laying on the ropes, coming apart. Always in the firing line at the same time as obviously mind not well, not necessarily going to be winning these rounds. Certainly in this, in this contest at the minute. Good left foot there from Arthur though. Looking away to the body of Lyndon Arthur. This was a heavy shot. Yeah, right hand followed as well. Not go there after the week we've had. Strong finish here from Suarez. Welcome back to Bolton, where we have a, a fascinating story. He's hustling Arthur out of this fight right now. Get that jab working, which has always been good. Four rounds to go. I think you've both got Suarez three rounds up here. So He's got to throw. Then move straight away. But more acceleration. But as George said, he's been all hustled and outworked. Go down that route yet. He gets him on the ropes and lets his hands go. Not everything lands. He doesn't have the fastest of feet. He has a slower movement for him than it would be for, for others with... This is just out muscling and out what about what he's doing, but it's mightily effective. And being able to work away in stages as well. That's nice to hear from Arthur, a little bit of head movement. So far this round nine. Four cards, we may yet not need them, but we edge as well as that. Get aside as quick and you can keep, you're happy to keep that momentum going and felt like he made his point there scheduled for 12 in 10 what physically back there of, of suarez lovely three yeah arthur being a more seasoned championship fighter looking for that uppercut there arthur success to follow his chest his shoulder on the chest there as well as the news right with a jab as well to be honest barry he's always to the head there's a very to doesn't keep the guy guessing he doesn't even touch him and then hit a stiff I think at the pace, I think it's spot on without changing the pace of the shot. Every single second of this little round here, isn't he, Arthur? Right on cue, of course, Suarez <laughs> throws that big uppercut. A shot to maybe from Suarez, but flashy little combinations like the close. And Arthur goes to the body and the shot, Seven. and is Suarez going to recover? He's not Lyndon. He was under terrible pressure. He was down. He was surely behind. But somehow, from somewhere, he found a way. I got to see it again, guys. I got to see it. It looked to me. Was it behind the elbow? Ladies and gentlemen, the official end of this contest falls at two minutes fifty-five seconds of round number ten. Suarez fails to beat referee Michael Alexander's count. The official decision is a KO in favour of your winner. Leaving the ring this evening as the newly crowned IBO light heavyweight champion of the world from Boston, Greater Manchester, Lyndon King Arthur. The crowd was slipping but he is after all king for the night well done to both of them well done to Lyndon Arthur we'll hear